3D TVs, computers without keyboards, and the ability to surf the web from your living room sofa. All of that new technology takes center stage this week at the annual Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. For a closer look at this year's high-tech debuts, we're joined by up-to-the-minute technology consultant John Quain. JQ, hi. Hi, how are you doing? All right, so tell us, uh, did Apple have make a big announcement or... No, this... Microsoft, well, the Microsoft and Apple thing, who is going to announce first? Okay. The Slate computer is basically a slick thin computer with a touch screen on it that can do most of the things that a computer can do. And Microsoft, yes, they did announce ahead of Apple. Apple is planning an event later this month. Everybody anticipates that's when they're going to announce their device. You know what? I think it's going to be pretty anticlimactic. It's basically a touch screen that can also read books. Kindle books were shown on the new Microsoft Slate, they're calling it, made by HP. And you can also look at video and things like that. Apple's going to announce the very same thing. But that's not the biggest thing to me about CES. The biggest thing is what you mentioned, 3D. Right. Are you ready to be in 3D? Uh, I don't <laughs> this, know. We're not even in <laughs> HD on this show, and suddenly we're talking about 3D. And I thought, whoa, who's really going to go for that? But every TV manufacturer is going to start selling 3D TVs sometime later this year. Blu-ray discs are going to be Blu-ray 3D discs that will show movies in 3D. You have to wear these goggles. That's one of the big drawbacks to me. Okay. The goggles are also expensive. They're $50 a pair. Wow. So if you want your family to watch it on the TV and the TVs, Vizio, the biggest flat panel maker, already announced some prices on their 3D TVs. How much? And they're double the price of the existing flat panel sets. So Yikes. I don't think this year is going to be the year that everybody's going to run out and buy a 3D TV, but they're really coming on strong. Mark Cuban uh, is going to have an HD channel. Uh, Disney uh, is looking at it. Sony and Discovery are going to have a channel. ESPN is going to have sports in 3D. And that looks pretty good. So maybe it will catch on. Don't know about the goggles and the price, though. The wave of the future. Yeah. What about connected TVs? Well, well, they've started this year with connected TVs, meaning connections to the internet. Right. So you could download those Netflix instant streaming movies on your Netflix account. You could also video on demand, YouTube, Flickr, all these different applications that people like to use on their TVs. Mm -hmm. They're expanding that by offering things like Skype. So that'll be built in for video conferencing in high definition. So you'll call your grandma and she'll talk to you on your new TV if grandma can afford one of these new TVs with Skype built into it. But that's one of the new features that they're going to add. They're just expanding now that they have that internet connection adding more and more things to it. That's neat. Okay, yeah. let's talk about if you have to take your TV with you, okay. mobile TVs. That's another big push. They want to see this in cars. We already have DVDs in cars and those entertainment systems. Internet connected cars are also a big thing at the show. Mobile TV, there are two formats now. There's one called Flow TV that's already available and you can buy a little device and watch like national channels but you have to pay for them. Mm -hmm. But when you're driving along, that station will stay with you as long as you're in a coverage area. Okay. They're pushing broadcasters to do mobile digital TV. That'll be free, that'll be on same kind of small devices but when you travel outside the city just like with your rabbit ears, you'll lose the station. But it's a very interesting idea. We'll see if that catches on. There's one little device, an $80 Tivit, that'll be out later this year for iPhones and other devices. You watch live TV on your iPhone, like you don't do enough on your iPhone. Oh my gosh. Well, you can watch our show then. <laughs> That's yes. right. You can do things like that. <laughs> All right, JQ, thanks so much for Anytime. being with us. And for more technology news, just head to the Up to the Minute page at cbsnews.com.